So who is Jesus? I've spoken about many religions, but the religion I've spoken about most often is Christianity. I was raised in Christianity, and in particular in Roman Catholicism. But I've already answered the question of who is Jesus in the abstract. For us, there's only one God, the ultimate ground of existence. Any God who is a person is either imaginary or at best, I, meant, I mentioned the, theolo the theoretical possibility that they might be as real as us. They might be a creature, a creation. So I'm not going to say that the uncreated light could not create a God-like being. I don't think it did, but I'm not going to say it can't. But it would still be a creature, and its reality, its ontological reality, would be no more than ours. Was there anybody who was named Jesus? Who, probably. But I don't think he was as the, as the stories that have come down to us. It's like if I found out one day there was a man named Clark Kent who was very strong and who wrote for a newspaper, that wouldn't convince me he could bend steel with his bare hands and change the course of mighty rivers. It wouldn't convince me he was Superman. And I believe it's possible there was a man named Jesus who was crucified by the Romans, who preached some good things. Actually, there might have been 20 men by that name. And actually, that is not a Jewish name. It's a Roman name, Marcus, Brutus, Aurelius, Jesus. I've heard that his name was something like Yeshua, and it would be rendered uh, in English maybe Joshua. So the Romans gave him his name. They changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And I believe they created a good bit of what has come down to us about Jesus. I once saw a famous atheist asked about what he thought about Jesus. And he said he thought Jesus was a good man. I think he was a good man too. I, th I think he taught some very good things. I don't agree with everything he taught. As I've already mentioned that he approved that the Old Testament law of uh, killing a child who curses a parent. I don't agree with everything he did. When he was 12 years old, he did a cruel thing to his parents. Interestingly, I have told that to some Christians over the years, over the internet mostly, and some of them didn't know what I was talking about, which is very odd. Jesus is supposedly their Lord and master, et cetera, et cetera. They don't know what he did. They don't know all the details of his life. It would be like someone saying they were a great Harry po uh, Potter fan and you mentioning Hogwarts and they saying, what's that? It's very strange. What he did, by the way, was he and Mary and Joseph went to Jerusalem. And when they left the city, he stayed behind and didn't tell them he was staying behind. So they traveled for a day, noticed he was missing, traveled back. I guess that took another day, spent three days searching for him, found him in the temple, and Mary said to him, why have you done this to us? We've spent three days sorrowing, looking for you. Jesus gave an answer. It really didn't answer anything. He said, don't you know I must be about my father's business? Well, Mary could have said, yeah, we know that, but that doesn't mean you're going to abandon us without telling us. Or she might have said, no, why didn't you tell us? To abandon your parents like that when you're 12 years old and have them worry and search a city for three days worrying about you. It's not a nice thing to do. Strangely, the Bible goes on to say, and she did not understand his answer, but she kept them in her heart. Before he was born, she, she, the angel had announced to her what was going on. It's as if that, by the way, in the Roman world, there were a lot of God men who had been fathered by a God and born of a virgin. That was a common thing. It was not unknown. And I think that perhaps that was an early indication of that being applied to Jesus. But maybe later on, then the Annunciation story was, was written where the angel appeared to Mary even before Jesus was born. At any rate, I don't think that was a very nice thing to do. One of the more consequential things that he did was his teaching about medicine. By one count, it was about 34, 35 miracles that Jesus did. It's hard to be exact because accounts in two different books might be the same miracle or two different ones, but similar. But at any rate, let's say 34. And about 23 of them had to do with healing. Okay. God himself comes to earth. How does he heal? That's, a, that's an important question. How should we treat disease? Jesus healed 
by forgiving sin and casting out demons. That doesn't work. If it did, Christians today wouldn't need health insurance. Now, a few of them do try that. And you read these tragic cases where often it's a child that the parents didn't get medical attention for. They prayed and prayed and prayed and the child dies and it makes the newspaper. Tragic cases. What Jesus taught us about how to, about medicine was wrong. And I read in one book once that in someone's opinion, it set medicine back a thousand years. Of course, anything I say, there are going to be people who disagree with me. But that I think was a not a good teaching of Jesus. If he had said something like, wash your hands, especially before you help a woman give, give a birth to a child, that would have saved a lot more lives than the few that he is alleged to have saved when he was on earth. I think that what has come down to us about Jesus is mostly legendary. The Roman Empire had united a, a vast geographical area of different peoples, different cultures. It united them politically and economically, and eventually it united them culturally. It made Christianity the official religion. You were in trouble if you didn't accept it. There were pagan temples that were torn down. There was a woman, I'll probably pronounce her name wrong, Hepatia, who was murdered by Christians. She was a, a famous uh, pagan philosopher. And basically, I have to give credit to the Romans. They built something that lasted a very long time. As I mentioned in another video, the Roman Empire went east. They moved the capital from Rome to Constantinople, and that didn't fall until 14, I believe it was 53. So the Roman Empire, well, maybe not as an empire, but the Roman civilization, which became the Roman Empire, lasted for 2,000 years, and it exists to this day. A lot of our civilization has been inherited from what the Romans built. So it was certainly a great achievement, but we, in this theology, do not accept gods who are persons as genuine gods. And I think an unbiased reading of the gospel shows some good things about Jesus, but not a perfect person. That's just my opinion. Thank you.